All right, hey everyone. Welcome to day 22 of the Advent of Code. Uh, yesterday, we did day 21. And we had a bit of a rough day 18, actually. It was about parsing. We know parsing, we're doing Haskell. Good at parsing, but we, it was rough. I, I was I was exhausted at the end of it, but it was a three hour stream. I think we'll only do day 22 today. I don't know if it's hard or not, but let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right, let me get this started and let's look at today's problem. If you haven't uh, been watching the entire time, you can catch up on YouTube. There's a link. Uh, there's a link to the playlist um, on the bottom, like under where the stream is, I think, like depending on where you're watching, of course. And uh, there's like a playlist with all the videos so far. So that's good. All right, we're gonna do some crap combat. Oh, she. Space cards. Okay, cool. Okay, we're, f <laughs> we're playing cards with a, hey, Cersei again. Nice to see you. What's up? How you doing today, Cersei? You still darting around? I haven't made you switch to Haskell yet, have I? Takes a few days. Let's see. So, it doesn't take the credit. Okay. We go to game, so I'll split the cards up. So each player has their own deck. Then the game consists of a series of rounds. Both players draw their top card, and the player with a higher valued card wins a round. The winner keeps both cards, placing them on the bottom of their own deck, so the winner card is above the other card. If this causes the player to have all the cards, they win, and the game ends. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my uh, thanks, Cersei. I'm gonna grab my drink. I have a I have some apple scene. All right, I'm back. How you all doing? It's a very good drink. It's just like a, it's like like Fanta, it's like a local version of Fanta. Pretty good. And we drink it out of a fancy glass. I mean, it's just a soda, but drinking out of a fancy glass makes it look good, right? Hmm. <laughs> you don't love the Fanta? I think Fanta's decent. I'm not such a huge fan of Fanta actually, but uh, I like Apple Scene. It's got that good stuff. Okay, so uh, why? Okay, so what's the rule? So split the card. So he plays his own deck. Then the game consists series of rounds. Both players draw their top card, and the player with a higher valued card wins a round. Okay, and the winner keeps both cards, placing them on the bottom of their own deck, so that the winner's card is above the other card. Okay, so, play, so they don't draw their top card, and the player with the higher valued card wins the round, okay? Uh, so they place both on the bottom of the card, so that the winner's card is above the other card. If this causes the player to have all of the cards, they win and they gain... <laughs> yeah, Fanta's good, right? Classic joke thumb. Okay, so, so... So, players want that contest 5 cards with 9 on top, yeah, yeah, 9, and then 5, and then they both throw 9 and 5. And then player 1 wins a round. And then they place the 9 and 5, yeah, on the bottom of their deck, exactly. Okay, and then 6 and 4, and then 3 and 7, okay, so and then it goes, and it goes, and it goes. Once the game ends, you can calculate the winning player's score. The bottom card of the center deck is worth the value of the card multiplied by 1. Second from the bottom is worth the value of their card multiplied by 2, and so on. Okay. With 10 cards, the top card is worth the value on the card multiplied by 10. Okay. I see. I see, I see, I... So let's just take the two decks. So how do we how do we 
How do we start this off? I mean, I think like, you know, like we've done some days before. Um, we've, we've done like program an analysis, right? In the sense that, you know, we, 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 oh shit. We, uh, we kind of figure out directly what the order will be. But here, you know, this time, I think we're just going to simulate it. Right? I don't think it'll take that long. Let's see, test, input. Okay, um, no, let's, let's just look at the real input. It's just a list of numbers, All right? Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, Lee. Uh, day 22. Module main where, uh, main main io main equals oh no okay let me see yeah like this main equals do um now we're gonna get input test input over to print Okay, so what's our test input gonna be? Uh, let me see. I'm gonna tweet one tweet right now. Are y'all ready for my tweet? It's a very funny tweet. Me and my friend. Uh. I just tweeted it. It's good. It's good stuff. Me and my friend Gabriella took a funny picture. Okay, uh, let's see. Get input. Uh, so we're gonna say get input. It's gonna take in a file path, IO list of list of uh, a pair of list of numbers, right? Okay. Get input equals. So we are going to say. Uh, so we're gonna say, you know, we're gonna take, um, so we're gonna say fmap, uh, two pair per of read file. And this is just like this. Yeah. And then where two per is a takes in string and returns a list of io of int now uh, two per is going to take the stir and we're going to say uh, where uh, p1 p2 is break uh, equal equals the empty which languages you know you know might like actual human languages um Icelandic, my native language, English. I hope I know it. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Uh, I know some German. Oh, programming languages. Oh my God, Cersei. Well, I know Haskell. I know, uh, I use Python and Haskell mostly. Uh, I use C a bit. I don't like C, it's too dangerous. I mean, it's like a wild question, right? I don't like C, I, I saw, so I've, I've tried, I've dabbled in Rust dabbled in rust but i i still don't know i still don't know the error messages quite well enough so working on that uh i know oh yeah i know java i programmed in java a bunch um i've done a little bit of scala a little bit of closure i did some lisp um, I did. I've, I I've written a little bit of pro prologue. I mean, I do I do research on programming languages, right? So I've just been, I've just like fiddled around with a bunch of them. But uh, I like Haskell is the one I like. It's like it fits the right. It's the, it's the right spot for me. Python is pretty fun, also. Python is pretty fun, also. Uh, yeah, that's my main. Like so, uh, Java. Java, yeah, and then you know, I, I you know, I, I've had like programming interviews, like where they're like, you know, solve this in Go, 
uh, or like not solve this in Go, but like, you know, hey, take this problem. I, I, there's a, here's a Go program and fix a bug in it, right? And I, 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 I could do that, right? So, you know, it's easy to... Oh yeah, and JavaScript too, of course. Yeah, yeah. JavaScript and TypeScript. I've written in those. Those are good. But, you know, I don't know. Kind of, you know, JavaScript, Java, C. I mean, they're all kind of the same, very similar languages, right? So, you know, if you know one of them, very easy to switch. You just need to, you don't need to learn the language. You just need to know the difference, right? Which is easier. Um, um. Uh, so we're gonna break. Here's gonna be player one. We player two. So it's gonna be player player. It's gonna be like the line, and then play player two, and then P two. So it's gonna be a uh, a uh, uh, read P one P two. I think it's like this. Let's see. Day twenty two. GHC day 22.hs. Oh, three. We wanted to go fast. Uh oh. We got breakster. Right? And read it. And weep. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, break on the line, sister. And P1. Okay, yeah, this is map read and map read. Let's see what happens. Nice. Wow. Wait, you you like? Yeah, it's good. Okay, let's see. I like you too, Cersei. You are interacting. That's what makes it a fun stream, you know. Not just me talking. I want to be talking to you guys. But you know, I also want like quality over quantity. You know, it's better to have a few people that that you can just talk to and have a conversation with than like too many, because then you can't talk to them, right? There's too many of them. Uh, yeah. Okay, we read the input. That's good. Let's see. Now simulate the game, right? Doom, 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 doom. Um, let's write the score function now score is gonna take a list of ints and it's gonna return as an int score is going to be so sip with so we are going to sum sip with um, so we're gonna go from zero to and then we're sipping with the so a uh, final we're sipping with a final and uh, when what are we sipping with we're actually gonna do here yeah so we're, we're sipping with uh we're gonna take in you know the index the index and we're gonna take the number and we're gonna say you know uh where lf is is the length of the final and this is gonna be a uh, lf uh, minus i times n that's gonna be our score function now let's test it out what was the score uh print dollar score dollar uh yeah so here's the final deck Let's just say a result should be this is just of ints. Oops. This is what our final result should be. No, let's result should be yeah. And then we need to say do Link it, compile it, run it. Let's see what happens. 306. Okay, our score function. Colon 1, right? We got it right away. Good. Good stuff. 
Let me let me put on some some different music. Um, I like this. This is Monster Cat. This is a. Uh, I have a I have a deal with them. I paid them five dollars, and I can play their music on my stream. How's that? Okay, so our score function is correct. Now we want to simulate. Do, do, do. Simulate is going to give us a. It's going to take you know. It's going to take in a list of int comma comma int and it's going to return a list of int. Simulate is the same as simulate. Prime, uh, and it's actually you know. No oh, wait, okay. So simulate of uh, you know an empty list and x is equals x is simulate. So we don't know which one of them is gonna end up to being the empty list. Uh, x is okay now simulate. So if neither of them is empty. A A S comma B B S. Okay, so here we run into the problem that we have to be adding to the end of the list, right? And that's not fast in Haskell. So we need to use something called sequence and turn our lists here into sequences. Which use finger trees. I've used this trick before, but uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, now this is gonna be a, a import sequence. Yeah, this is gonna be a seek of int, and this is gonna be a seek of int. And let's see here now. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's qualify it. Qualified as seek import data dot sequence seek. Now this is going to be let's look at data dot sequence uh, so if this is seek dot empty let me return X so we're gonna return a seek now, actually, we're gonna say just like seek dot two list of x's. It doesn't have two list. Uh, what? We can't go back to a list. This is how I feel. What? Uh, do I need to traverse it or something like that? Let's see. Let's figure it out. Wait, I'm gonna play my... I like, really like this song. Data.foldable. Okay. They really should have this in seek, right? Okay. Now, if it's not empty, it's gonna be one of these, right? Okay, so, and then we say, you know, if A is bigger than B, what do we, what do, you do in tie breaks? Uh, let's see. Both winner, so, both three are on top, and they play with a higher value card wins around. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, so they all have different cards. So there's never going to be an equality. Okay. If A bigger than B, then simulate. Uh, we're going to take... So if A won, then we're going to say A, S. And we use this operator, A, B. 
comma ps else simulate as comma b b uh, a bs uh, okay what is the name of this pattern uh, is it is it like a oh uh, okay oh i have to do colon first okay Let's uh, let's just import those directly, right? Oh. All right, I think it's happening. Let's see. To turn them both into sequences, which we do like this. Right, we just say A here. Just simulate. Let's get, uh, get out what happens if we simulate the first one. Uh, okay, and this looks like the order. Yeah, three, two, ten, six, eight, five, six, eight, five, nine, four, seven, one, nine, four, seven, one. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now we say print score. Right now we need to get the input let's get it when you're ready come and get it okay let's run it see how fast it goes by saying measure command day 22 and we have to say here uh, oh i have to split it again so you, so you can see i can barely see it right yeah like this out default uh let's let's have it all the way here yeah okay let's run it we have to run it twice remember because uh, the rts takes over long to boot 21 milliseconds three three four two one let's see three three four two one and it works whoop, whoop. You always gotta do the dance, you know? Even if it takes you 20 minutes to solve, you gotta do the dance. That's... That's just the rules... of, uh... Admin of Code. Alright, let's see. Oh, we lost to the small crowd. Oh, no. Crabs aren't very good at recursion. To defend your honor, you challenge crab to a crab game of recursive combat. Oh... Baby! <laughs> We're already using recursion, bro. It's gonna be epic. Okay, splitting the cards into two decks. Okay, then the game says a series of rounds for the few changes before either player is a card. If there was a previous round in this game that had exactly the same cards in the same order in the same player decks, the game instantly ends in a win for player one. I don't think this will happen, but 
Uh, well, let's fix it. Um, let's see. Oh my god. What is the winning player's score? Okay. Let's just keep reading. Let's keep reading. So, okay. So if it, it ends with a win for player one. Okay. Okay. We don't want infinite games that record. Okay. 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 Otherwise, this round's cards must be in a new configuration. The players begin the round by trying to blah, 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 blah. If both players have at least as many cards remaining in their deck as the value of the card they just drew, the winner of the round is determining by playing a new game of recursive combat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, otherwise, at least one player must not have enough cards left in their deck to recurse. The winner of the round is a player with a higher value card. Okay. This is crazy stuff, right? My tweet is hilarious, okay? <laughs> Go check it out. Uh, that's why I'm smiling so much. I'm getting like feedback on the tweet. Mm. Alright, let's see. Uh, both plays at least many cards remaining in their deck. Is the value of the card they just drew. The winner of the round is the trying to think. Yeah, okay. Oof. It's a lot of rules here. If players have at least as many cards in their own deck as the number of the cards they just still want to run a search memory because it's a sub game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So before either player deals a card, if there was a previous round in this game that had exactly the same cards. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we have we have um such a good tweet. Damn. Okay, anyway, uh, simulate, okay, simulate with subs. Okay, so here we have, uh, now, okay, so if they're empty, so then we don't care. Okay, so we're gonna have... Just right here type game state uh dex it's more accurate right mm -hmm. okay let's just right here so okay recursive combat uh, okay, so we have the let's 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 co comment this out. So we have the decks. Uh, so let's so we have the map which goes from decks. Now we have the pre previous, which is just a set of decks. Okay, so we because we don't actually need to look up the value, right? So we just have a set of decks. So we're gonna say here import data dot set set import qualified data dot set as set and let's see so okay set of decks to decks uh, to uh, int. recursive combat okay so we have okay so we have here we have the prev and then we have the these the decks you know D1, D2. Equals. So, uh, so if it's the case that 
d set dot member uh, if it is a member of the previous then let's actually return a so type deck is a seek of int oops and then this is going to be a pair of decks okay now if d so this is deck so if d is a set member of prev it ends with an instant win for player one this is that it's d1 so otherwise, a recursive combat prev d at d1 comma d2. That's going to be where prev is set dot insert. Oh my god! So then we're going to say you know d. We're going to set it into the previous game states, right? Prev. So okay, so otherwise this round's card matching big difficult new kind of purgation. The the players begin the round by each drawing the top card of the deck as normal. So I think also, you know, we also have these rules, right? I think we also have this, right? So recursive combat. You know, whatever, if either of them is empty, then we just... And then we just return that deck, right? Okay, otherwise... So, neither of them is empty. So, then we, then they both have, you know, uh, D1... And then, what, like this? Yeah, D1s... D2, D2S. Okay, and then they both draw the top card of the deck. And that both players have at least as many cards remaining in their deck as the value of the card they just drew. Okay, so, you know, so, okay, so here, we're gonna say, so, we have to play another round, of course. Okay, so here, okay, so, if it's a case that D1 is at least as many cards remaining in their deck as the value of the card they just drew. Okay, so that is it's gonna be size seek dot size uh, length uh, d one s uh, so yeah so they need to have So they both, so then it then, uh, there's a new game of recursive combat. Okay, so we don't know what to do here yet. But if so, if, if either of them, so if either of them do not satisfy that constraint, then at least one player must not have enough cards left in their deck to recur. So when the round is a player with a higher value card. If d1 larger than d2 then d1 else d2 no uh then yeah we return their deck stuff let me see d1s let's see 
think this music is a bit too intense, right? Let's go here. Uh, let's play this lo-fi. It's better, right? Hope so. Let's see, so recursive combat. So this let's just return in. Let's just return a bullet here. So int this is player one zero. This is player one. Uh, this is player zero. Uh, if d one is d two, then zero else one. If both players have at least as many cards remaining in their deck as the value of the cards they just used, the winner of the round is determined by playing a new game of recursive combat. As in regular combat, the winner of the ground takes the two cards dealt at the beginning of the round and places them on the bottom of their own deck. Uh, so maybe like this, decks? Uh... So we return the decks here. Uh, here, but here it's gonna be player one, right? Oh, okay. So, yeah. So if if it's if it's a previous configuration, okay. So I'm just gonna assume that we're not gonna hit the case that it's a previous configuration, and I mean we already checked that they're empty, right? D one, D one, S, D two. D2S is going to be D1S uh, with D1 and then with D2, I think. And then we actually have to do it like uh, this. Uh, D2 and then D2S. So player one, this is when player one wins. Uh, then this if yeah okay so here this is when uh yeah let's see this is player one wins else player two wins uh d2 d1 and then d1s Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens for recursive combat otherwise. So how do we play a new game of recursive combat? Yeah, okay. If they won the round due to winning a sub game, yeah. If collecting cards by winning the round causes a player to have all of the cards, they win and the game ends. Yeah, so here the game actually ends, right? So this is gonna be a deck. It's gonna be a deck. Now here, this is gonna be before. If there was a previous round in this game, uh, the game the game instantly ends in a win for deck player one. Okay.
it's a bit bit rough I think I'm having a hard time figuring this out so okay so if there was a previous round in this game so they play a round of the game the game instantly ends in a win for player one otherwise so yeah so they will play a sub game So yeah, okay. So I think the the entire the, if 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 either of them run out entirely, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. So 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 here it the round ends in a win for uh, yeah for player one. Okay. So this will just end the loop now here the round ends with a win for player one uh so here um so here the this round ends yeah there's no sub game Okay, so here we actually recurse. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this so this is gonna be you know case uh, recursive combat of set dot empty uh, d one s d two s of So if we ended up with, you know, either of these in the sub game, um, let me return, yes, then the whole thing is over, right? Seek dot empty and the other one was D2, then the whole thing is over. Otherwise, the whole thing is not over, and we are looking at a new game. So here we we we, we play the sub game, and okay. So yeah. So we otherwise it's gonna be we, yeah. So. Res is going to be a recursive combat of uh, rev uh, set dot insert uh, d of uh, and we use it on res, right? Yeah. Is this gonna be it? Let's see. Game one is the primary game. Okay. <laughs> Let's just run it. Let's just see what happens. I think, I don't think we'll get into a loop. 
I think we might just get the wrong result. Okay, that did not end in the right way, right? Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Recursive combat here as well. You don't need to insert. Let's, let's try this. So the, it wasn't a member. Mm, oh, yeah, this needs to be an or. That's the wrong thing. Um, no, 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 it was correct, right? So I think it's hitting this case. Oh, no, no, it didn't do anything. This round's cards must be in a new configuration. The players begin the round by each drawing of the top card of the deck. If both players have at least as many cards remaining in their deck as the value of the card they just drew, the winner of the crown the trump playing a new com crown cards of combat. As in regular combat, then took yeah. During a round, if both players have at least as many cards in their own decks as the number of the cards they just dealt, the winner of the round is to be cursing into a sub game. Yeah, okay, the sub game. Each player creates a new deck by making a copy of the next cards in the deck. Yes. During the sub game, the game that triggered it is on hold and completely unaffected. No cards are removed from players' decks to form within the sub game. Play one draw the three card. The deck in the sub game would be copies of the next three cards in their deck. Okay. Right. So we don't have to do. We don't shouldn't do res here. Okay. So if it if it was completely finished, we do DS. But I think here it's not modified, right? Uh. So then we need to see, you know, what was the condition? Like who, who won? 
So we never actually use this. So it's going to be an int. This is a win for zero. This is a win for one. If, yeah, so this would be a winner from one, zero. Okay, uh, so okay, if we recurse. So, uh, case recursive combat set dot empty d1s d2s of a uh, so if it's zero then we keep going recursive combat prev set dot insert a d uh and then let's just write here uh where I can oh, okay, no. okay, let's just do like this prev. So we insert D into prev uh, And so so once so the first one wins, right? If it's one however uh, Then it's gonna be this Okay, uh, so here we're gonna say zero and one. Okay, this should be actually, we have to have this be, you know, int index uh, zero. DS is gonna be one DS this is gonna be zero D now here we're just gonna ignore the return value however if it is like a because hmm, we want to find the so you want one at the way at the like at the final end. Trace show trace prev import debug dot trace. So we never hit prev. So it's actually the first one here. So D1 is less than or equal to seek length D1S and D2 is less than or equal to seek length. Um. For example, the player one draws a three card and player two so gets with a curve player one has at least three cards left and player two has at least seven cards left yes okay so yeah and player two has at least seven cards left yeah card of three and seven that were drawn yeah okay Yeah, make a copy. so you do make a copy, right? Because it's immutable. Uh, okay. <laughs> the 
Let's see how it, the recursive combats play out. What? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what's happening. Okay, so D1, so it's 9, and this is not larger than 9, yeah, okay. If D1 is D2, um, yeah, okay. Then I think we do here, yeah. Seven five six two four one ten eight nine three. Ten five six two four one ten eight nine three. Okay, we got it. We got it for the test. Now a get winner int a deck to a Let's see, this is gonna be uh, int and then a get winner of zero uh, as uh, whatever is going to be C, uh, it's gonna be two list of as for one is gonna be yes, two list of bs. Now let's see, get winner. And now we're gonna say score. And we're gonna remove the traces. Twenty meter seconds. That's not bad. Okay, let's run it. see how fast it is prev yeah oh you didn't remove that trace right This might take a while, right? I think we're not uh, we're not doing anything clever here. We're not memoizing or anything, right? Let's see. How about we 
we say How about we memoize here? Memo. So, uh, case. Uh, so we run. Okay, so, um, now we gotta import maps. Data.map as map. We gotta import qualified. Data.map as map. Okay, and now we say here, you know, uh, if a case, a, you know, a D map dot memo of just I, a just zero, it's going to be. Um, where zero wins where p1 wins equals this and p2 wins wins p2 wins p1 wins just one is p2 wins so so if it's not there then we have to run it like memoized right uh, memo and then we say here p1 wins d insert okay and then we say here uh map dot in insert um map dot insert so it's key value and then map right it's gonna be uh, like this it's gonna be memo and the key is going to be a is gonna be D and then this is a value right so but let's actually not look at let's look at the sub game so let's say the sub game here is actually gonna be the key we're gonna be inserting uh, like this yeah and this is going to be d1 ds d2 ds what's wrong here is that there's a missing bracket and this is nothing it's not noting nothing uh p2 wins p1 wins so memo prev memo memo uh prev memo See. Let's replace this with sub. Sub, and here we look up sub. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this one doesn't care. And then, oh, this one here. Memo and this is just memo and here it says um oh that's that autocorrect thing now map dot insert uh so key yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay Let's see, um, yeah, and this needs to be uh, an empty map. 
map.empty and then we don't have to actually uh... yeah so we look up memo we look on sub in memo right okay i think this will work i think it's like otherwise we're always playing the sub games again and again super often uh, but I think if we can like memo it, memoize it this time, it should be a bit faster, right? Oh, this is not at all running fast. It's not good. I did this wrong. This should be like this. Give it a couple of minutes, right? Let's start it back. Let's give it five more minutes. See what happens. Uh, I'm gonna stand up a bit. Give me a second. Oof. <clears throat> okay, so memoization is uh, it's 
not enough here apparently. Let's see. Let's try to look into it. been running quite long uh, so apparently we need another approach here okay we don't actually need this information here Maybe we should be returning the memoized from all the subs. I think that's the issue. Uh... Let's see. Why is there a beep? Oh yeah. Five minutes ran out. Makes sense. I was like, oh shit. Is that my fire alarm? <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's see. I think we need to return the memoized things out. So here we're going to say... Uh, okay. Uh, memo. So here we don't modify the memo because we don't know the initial state, right? Here we say memo. Memo. Okay, so here uh, we do case recursive set empty memo. Okay, P2 wins. Okay, so what is that? So we don't care about so the M prime. It's going to be here and M prime is going to be here and this is going to be uh, wins um, new deck this is going to be here uh, right Let's just say M prime M here. And instead of inserting into memo, we insert into M. And here we have, yeah, we don't care. And we say uh, P1 wins M prime. M prime just. Zero is P1 wins M prime. Uh, it's gonna be so 
if it's in here before then we don't change anything we didn't do actually any computation uh so when are we when so when are we returning when do we actually return anything uh okay we return it here at the end of it right Uh, maybe like this. So then it kind of returns the memoized thing up, right? Oh, now it says 281. Oops. So P1 wins here, memo. P1 wins, memo. So we already insert the sub into the memo. Maybe it should just be inserting the... Damn it. Memorization doesn't even work for the base case, right? Okay, does this just not work even for the test input? What did I have before I memoize it? right if it doesn't even work that's like oh hey again Cersei uh, we, we changed it and then it didn't work and now we're we're still trying to make it fast it's not good right uh, let's see it again okay this works still Now, what do I want to avoid? I want to avoid... Uh. So, let's see. Okay, if if D is a member of Brev, okay, then zero D. Case a flip swap D. So 
So we can we can all also look, you know, if we've did we see, have we seen that the like a, the second one will win here. And that could be good. that still work for our test yeah okay good Also give this prev. Okay, this prev is never gonna, because this is this is this is a deck of cards with smaller stuff in it, right? Is that gonna be okay? So it returns the correct thing. See if this works on the output. Is it gonna be like constantly swapping or something? It's like that's is that the thing here? Oof. No, it's not the thing. Okay, let's see.
I mean, so like recursive combat, like that sounds like we're just supposed to memoize and that should be fast, but now we've tried that and that didn't really work. I mean, there's got to be some shortcut, but I'm just not seeing the shortcut, right? It's not at all, right? Yeah, it's taking very long. Um, <laughs> let's take a break. Let's just stop the stream, take a little break. See if this finishes. Because, you know, I, I, I'm looking at the problem, right? And I'm not really seeing if there's a, like a shortcut here. doing like we did memorization that that didn't work mm. anyone 
anyone have any ideas? Try, try memorizing again, but yeah. I think this swap D thing, that's dangerous. Too dangerous. Let's just have that case here, right? Okay, so we just look at look it up in the memo. Uh, yeah, because this is just gonna be a D map the memo D.
Um, let's first of all see if it works on a testing quick right? Okay, it works here. So here's actually where I find out where, which one of, which one of it it ends up being. Okay. It just doesn't take any short time. Okay. Maybe this map of decks, set of decks and map of decks, maybe that's just so slow. Can I like uh, hashes? Ashes sequence somehow? the sequence Yeah, I think it's very likely that it's the... It's the, um... Set operations that are taking a lot of time.
Let's see. I mean, so the memorization is definitely helping. It's just not enough, right? I think after this, I can always say that zero wins, right?
All right, let's give it 10 more minutes, but you know, I'm I'm not I don't I don't have any ideas. Yeah, you know, I'm just all out of ideas on how to do we memoize it, you know, and it's a pretty complex problem. So it's a very hard for us to do anything else than just kind of simulate it. Like I can't really see how we can analyze anything here. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. Let me check. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're doing memoization. We're new using data.sequence, so we have efficient list operations. I don't see we got, I don't see how we can push the performance of this part up. So yeah. Let's uh, merge this part. All right, so let's see. So we can't we can't up the performance on this part, right? That's kind of yeah. Uh, we're using data dot sequence, so these are going to be fast. We are, you know, we're using okay. We're doing set decks and map decks, which is going to be a bit slow. But I th I don't think it's going to be that slow. You know, I think it's going to be. I think it's gonna be okay. Um, and I haven't figured out any like shortcut. Does anyone have any have any ideas of a shortcut here? Because like it's a very complex problem, right? And it's like a very complex game, and it seems it seems complicated, you know. And like the way you cheat usually in functional programming is that you memoize, right? But We've already memoized and it it's not enough to help us do this, right? So 
I mean, it looks like a copy of the next card. Yeah, I mean, uh, but you know, we and we do it correctly for the example. We do get this 291 here. Uh, but I don't see how we can speed it up by using like analysis, right? So we, we don't do repeat of games, you know, that's good. We don't, um, and, uh, yeah, what else is what we might be doing? We don't check twelve. If we're like, if we if we end up in the same situation again, we we don't we don't run it again, right? Mm. Shoot. So what are we doing here? So this is like a a version of merge sort or something. Uh, let's see. Uh, seven five six two four one ten eight nine three uh do 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 no i mean it's not sorted in any way right anyone have any ideas well, i'm gonna end this in like five minutes because it's just gonna be running right and that's not it's not very fun to watch. Been running for like five, six minutes now. Uh, it's too much. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'll, uh, I think I'll just pause here. And, you know, we'll, I'll let this run. We'll see if it finishes. And then I'll update you next stream. But, uh, or, you know, I'll see if I get any ideas. So it's gonna be a part two, I guess. The stream. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Sorry about, uh, not finishing sadly it's, it's not always enough to just memoize and use efficient data structures so but that's how it is and um yeah i hope you all tune in again uh i think i might stream tomorrow at six um i'm not 100 percent sure and then i'll be off for a couple of days um because you know it's christmas i have some Zoom Christmas parties to attend and go on some Christmas walks Masks and everything. It's gonna be it's gonna be fine, but you know We'll see. We'll see if this ever finishes All right. Thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, Catch you all next time All right. Bye. Bye